This week, two kids here in the Bay Area died from drowning in backyard pools. Tonight, local parents tell ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone why it's so important for their children to learn how to swim before they can even talk. <laughs> With each kick and splash, two and a half year old Lincoln knows what he needs to do float and get to the pool's ledge. As a parent, you're like, what are we doing? Should we should we have done this? Because it's it's really hard to watch. Uh, but after the first few visits, uh, you get past. Leo Gonzalez is an infant swimming resource instructor teaching children self rescue. If a child gets into a body of water alone, they would have the skills needed to survive. When they're Lincoln's age, you know, we, we start teaching them how to swim. Three to four seconds, to reach, reach an edge or a wall. Drowning is the leading cause of accidental death in children under the age of four. On Monday, Northport police say a two-year-old died in a family's backyard pool. And another child died last night in a pool in Newport Ritchie. I'm Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Chronister. The Hillsborough County Sheriff just released a video on how to prevent a drowning. Each year, 1,150 children under the age of 14 drown. The video encourages parents to install a gate around the pool and an alarm. The best safety measure you can take. But if those barriers fail, teaching a child to swim could save their life. What Leo is, is teaching them is, is try to, you know, not only be able to, to understand where they're at, be able to hold their breath and get to a floating position and make it to a side to save their life. A lesson today could save a life tomorrow. Reporting in Tampa, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.